All right, welcome to this uh, kind of flatting and uh, coloring tutorial. It's pretty simple. Uh, so I do most of my uh, inks and stuff. Everything uh, black and white is done initially in Manga Studio. You can see it here. I've kind of got it set up. Uh, different panels are in different layers, so I can you know turn off individual panels. Uh, I've got stuff inside of them. Uh, I got uh, things that kind of come outside. You can kind of see that I've got some splashes coming outside here. I've got this folder uh, here uh, as well. Uh, which one is this? Oh, yeah, it's that guy. And then in this one, you can kind of see how I've got these uh, purple lines, which are the perspective grid that I've used for the background and I've um, turned this layer color to blue so I can very easily uh, select that later on when I get more into the coloring process I can grab those lines and very easily uh, change them to a color that will make sense in the background um, so I can do that very easily when I move it into Photoshop so um, Basically, uh, I've already done this part, um, but uh, the what hap what I do here uh, from this screen is I'll basically just export uh, to PSD here. So I'll do one big export, uh, and then I'll just keep it all flat on uh, you know w one layer there. You can see it's very clean, very simple. Don't have a lot of stuff, and then I'll turn everything off. Uh, you know, in all these layers, uh, probably keep some of this stuff here so I can cut off the uh, where the uh, panel breaks or when it where characters break into the panel. Uh, and basically, just try to eliminate where you know, and, and just basically get down to uh, where just the lines are for the panels. So I have that on a separate layer, so I if I want to use that later, I can. So after I've exported this, let me put Manga Studio here. There we go. Uh, I uh, go into Photoshop. You can kind of see how this ends up here, but I'll show you where your input lands you. Just go to New Land, and your import, it looks pretty much like this. Uh, you can bring, if you're what I do pretty much initially, is make a separate layer change all of uh, these all the blue parts to, to black uh, just because I'm used to working that way from when I, before I started the whole blue layer thing uh, and then in order to flat flatten everything I start going in and uh, uh, filling in the characters and things with, with white so that uh, a lot of the uh, details on the inf on the inside of them uh, basically don't show. So what y you end up is with a lot of this kind of stuff. Uh, so basically, you can kind of see how the inside of his uh, you know, his hoodie here is all gone. All the detail of his shirt is gone here. Uh, the the details of these hands are gone. Uh, I do with some filling in of uh, different things like. Uh, these buildings and you know the light posts, so I can get those shapes. Uh, so basically, the idea is to eliminate a lot of extraneous lines uh, because I'm going to do some uh, very. Uh, I use a tool called uh, B Pelt, uh, B P E L T, and I'll have a link to that uh, in the notes. But um, basically, uh, you. Uh, get it to a state like this after uh, some work, um, and I try to you know pretty much keep it very simple and and keep everything so it's uh, very clean. Uh, and then you use uh, the B pelt multi tool. It shows up in your filters and or multi fill, not multi tool. So you get your filters, uh, B pelt, and then multi fill. And what that will do is get you something like this. Um, which is great, you know. So I usually keep that on a separate layer. You can see it here, and uh, I'll kind of you know turn on an inks layer above this, 
the way that I create this ink slayer is by uh, using the one, you know, duplicating uh, this uh, the all black layer and uh, using the wand tool to with anti alias turned off zero tolerance uh, and uh, turned off the contiguous uh, you know setting there and highlight you know click one where any any space where it's white and then I can delete that white so it just leaves me these black clean lines uh, there because basically when I'm working in Manga Studio also I only work uh, pretty much binary black and white so it's very s easy when you when you get into this stage to, to be able to do that so uh, I check at this point to make sure it all kind of worked out you know sometimes you'll get like you can see here uh, that this uh, was probably supposed to be filled in uh, when I had this, see? But it, it didn't do it. Uh, I, I basically just did it myself later. Um, but here you can see that you kind of have to check for a few of those kinds of areas. And then when on your multi-fill layer, what I do is I duplicate that layer and then uh, into it and then that flattens. And what that does, and then you go to uh, your filters, oops, you go filter on the new flatten layer, default, and then flatten pro. Uh, and then what that'll do is create this nice flat version. It look, doesn't look different here because the ink layer is on, but it basically eliminates all of the black lines in here, so you get really nice selectable layers or uh, you know areas for for your selections. And so when you're making those selections uh, with your wand tool, uh, you can have when you have zero tolerance, anti-alias off, uh, and contiguous off, you get really great, uh, you know, clean selections that are just right pixel perfect, so you can get really nice pixel perfect uh, lines, uh, color areas this way, which is very handy, so you can kind of keep it very, um, You know, it's very clean, and you know, so when you're working in these areas, you, you can go back and select them, and they'll stay that way. You know, your selections don't change. Uh, so then, you know, I turn my ink back on so I can see what uh, what I'm supposed to be doing here. You know, what these shapes are actually supposed to represent because this doesn't mean anything to anybody. Uh, and then I'll go through and do all the colors. Usually, I'll, I'll have. Um, you know, previous pages open uh, where I've done this process before, so I'll go back and you know find what colors you know he had in the previous panel, or I'll make some new ones up. Uh, in this one, I think I made the new color of the pants up um, because he hasn't been you know in this scene. The pants haven't been in this scene with um, this kind of lighting before. So, and you can see here, I also fixed up this little area back here. And when I'm going through here, I'm using the pencil tool so that this, uh, you know, instead of the brush tool, so that I can keep that very, very clean. Uh, oops. Uh, dividing uh, line here. It's going to get a couple little extraneous pixels there, but it's supposed to be covered up by that black. It'll be fine. Um. Yeah, and so basically at this point, oh, and then I uh, usually turn all those off, so I just have that um, flatten layer, or the colors there, I don't need the flatten layer, or I don't need the multi-fill layer anymore. I'll uh, put like a black behind here, because it's at night, and so I want to keep that kind of, you know, uh, the dark tone, kind of the suspenseful part of the book, so I want to kind of have that feel. And then I can bring in my panels. Uh, that I uh, exported out before. Uh, basically, I just took those panels, inverted them so I got the white lines, uh, and uh, uh, did the same thing I did with the inks. So these panels are, if I can kind of see if I zoom in, just the white. And then, uh, in you know, in some areas they were overlapping uh, the figures. Let's see if I can find some. 
previously they you know kind of cut in like this and so I used a layer mask and uh, just went in kind of you know went in here in that layer mask to uh, kind of uh, paint in where that uh, where these panels shouldn't be so basically at this point I'm ready to color uh, so I think I'll make that a separate video, kind of how I go through and do that. But uh, that's pretty much a pr pretty quick overview of how I like to uh, set up everything for, uh, you know, for coloring and, and flatting and doing all that in Minecraft Studio and Photoshop. So thanks for watching. Uh, I guess be sure to subscribe. I'm going to try to do more of these. I think it's been, you know, it's been a while since I've done them, so uh, uh, I'd love for you guys to subscribe and get some views here. Um, and uh, be sure to check out the comic, nightsmokecomic.com, to see the final version of this. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.